welcome to my channel. My name is Rosa, and on this channel, we create plant-based food for you and your family to enjoy. So today, let's make some fluffy pancakes. Jimmy's been asking me for pancakes for a while now, and he's been doing really well on transitioning from being a meat eater to eating more vegetarian type food and almost vegan. So I'm gonna see if he can tell if these pancakes are actually regular pancakes or vegan pancakes, okay? So let me show you guys what ingredients I'm about to use, all right? So like, normally I would use a whole grain, uh, like flour or whatever like that. But these ones, I wanna make them really fluffy. So I'm just gonna throw, and plus I don't even have this flour on hand right now because I'm in Mexico. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw like a cup of the flour in there real fast. I'm just gonna probably do about a, probably like a teaspoon. I sometimes don't measure, I just throw it in. But hold on, let me get my uh, strainer because I wanna make sure that it doesn't have any clumps in it. So I like to pretty much you know, whisk it out a little bit, or not whisk it, but what is this thing called? Uh, sift it out. But I like to sift it out a little bit. I think I'm gonna do like a good pinch of salt. It's pretty, it's, recipe is pretty simple. It's not really that hard, but I want to share it with you real fast because I know a lot of people love them some pancakes, so. I think I'm gonna do about, uh, let's try maybe two tablespoons, and this is organic sugar, so. Two, about two all depends on your sweetness level, whatever you want to, got, want to put in it. And let's whisk it together a bit. Now at this point, you can always add cinnamon or whatever like that and put some cinnamon in it. But I'm not doing all that right now. Like I said, simple, about seven ingredients, real simple. One thing you will need to do, let's see. You'll need some plant milk and you'll need to let the plant milk like sit for five minutes once you add some vinegar in it. So I'll do about, uh, let's say about a cup of plant milk. Let's try that first. And even if it got like a um, little too loose or whatever like that, you could always add more flour in it and kind of balance it out. So it's pretty simple. And the cool thing about this is you don't need any eggs or anything like that. So because, you know, being a vegan, you don't have eggs, add eggs. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla. I like this. Uh, it's a really good vanilla day. You know what, this is here out in Mexico, but they actually have it at the dollar store or a 99 cent store in, v in uh, Vegas, so in the States, so hey, go figure. But it re works really well. I know I liked it for a reason, okay? So I'm gonna stir that up. Then I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, which, hold on, let me go grab that, I forgot it. So, uh, one second. All right, I got my apple cider vinegar, my bad. <laughs> I know it was something I was forgetting. So you're gonna add like about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in that. Yeah, let's do about a teaspoon. And what you're gonna do is just let this sit up, like stir it together some. Yeah, I'm using a spoon. <laughs> stir it together and let it kind of curdle like, uh, just kind of get like a buttermilk kind of acidy feel for it, you know? So let that curl up, let it sit for like five minutes, and then we're gonna throw it inside and mix it together, all right, guys? All right, so the milk got all curly, see? That's how it should look, kind of like buttermilk, you know? And then we're just gonna go ahead and throw that in and just whisk it together, see? And you see all these bubbles in here. That's how you know it's gonna be fluffy. You don't wanna whisk it too much, too hard, but you wanna get it like to combine like that. At least that's how I like doing it. Okay, so y'all know I'm in Mexico, so I gotta light it. Light it with the fire. Sometimes it'd be scary, see? <laughs> because it goes, and it kind of freaks me out. All right, so if you're doing vegan, for sure, like the channel is, you could use vegan butter. These pancakes are for Jimmy, so I'm just gonna use some regular butter for him. Just go ahead and put some butter in your pan, you know, like normal pancakes, of course. And then my, my if I eat any, it'll be without uh, any type of real butter. Some people, you know, sometimes you can use that, uh, if you don't have a non-stick pan, just go ahead and use that spray. I don't like cooking spray because like, it's, I don't just do, I just don't do it. It's up to, to each his own though, it's up to you. I'm going to grab probably a, a one-fourth measure of my drawer because it makes it easier real fast. Oh, you know what, guys? 
Hello, wait. I'm going to let it sit rest for like five minutes, okay? I just, it just dawned on me. I'm going to let it rest for five minutes because I realize every time when I make my other pancakes too, I always let them sit and rest. So I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and then we're going to make these pancakes, all right? All right, back. All right, so now it looks like it has a lot of fluffy bubbles. So we just go throw it in here. The pan is nice and hot. So I'm going to use a fourth tablespoon just to see how big that comes out. I think that's pretty good. I like to be measuring my stuff out. That way I get even pancakes. Let's see. I'm gonna do about three. I might have it up too high because of the butter's burning. Let's see. I just need it up high because this pan is so big. Not like my other, uh, these other um, copper pans. So I like this new pan because I got it at La Camere out here in uh, Mexico. So it's a kind of, they're kind of like a whole food place, uh, but they actually have pots and pans over there. They have like a whole section that has, I think they have like a refrigerator over there too. Refrigerators and Mexico is like that, okay? They have, it's like regular grocery store. Heck, Costco has mopeds in them, okay? So it's a lot of stuff in the regular stores out here and the grocery stores out here. So it's kind of trippy, but it's, it's a cool convenient thing, I guess, you know? Okay, I wanna make sure they don't burn. They might look darker because I use real butter for Jimmy. So yeah, bear with me on that one. We'll find out though. But once they get crispy around the edges and get dry, then I know they're done pretty much. So this is the first time actually I'm using this pan. So this is pretty cool. So it's not sticky. Hey, appreciate that. Okay, they're too light still. So the, it, the uh, butter's making it be deceiving because of the fact that it's getting dark. So making it look burn. We're gonna leave it alone for two seconds. They're getting fluffy. I see the bubbles. Yay. Hopefully they taste good though. All right. I think I should flip it. Let me see something. Uh, hold on to the pen. Come on now. Okay. That's cool. I could have let it get darker. Let me turn this around so this one looks like it's already dark. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that one could have stayed a little longer, but whatever. Still gonna taste good. See if they're fluffing up. Make sure I put enough bacon, bacon powder in it. Yeah, they look like they're getting pretty fluffy. So I think the next batch, I'm not gonna put a lot of butter or anything. Cause, or just use my vegan butter. Need a paper towel. I'm gonna wipe out some of that. Because the butter burn. Butter always does that though, regular butter. Always burns. In this pan, I might not even need any butter, sure. I was just making sure, because this is the first time I used this pan, so I wasn't sure if it's gonna burn or if it's gonna stick or not, so, hey, cool. It did stick. Let's try another round of pancakes. These are gonna be so good. Hopefully he likes them. This was like the go-to recipe that I used to do a long time ago when I was like uh, doing more vegetarian because not eating eggs and stuff. So this is a really good recipe for egg, not to have to include eggs, you know, because eggs are still chickens, guys. So just want to make sure that you can find something that's going to be easy. That looks good. Without using... Looks okay. Let's try another batch. I think I might turn it down, so it's pretty high. Oh, I think I got it down too high. Let's try medium. See that sucker smoking? Man. All right, let's try another batch on medium. Without, we're gonna try it without butter this time. Need a little black piece in there, hold on. Bye. Okay. Again, first time I'm using this pan. So, like that. See how many, one fourth cup of, see how many pancakes we could get out of this. With this one fourth measure. We got three, six, I'm thinking maybe eight pancakes? Looks like it, about eight pancakes. I think I can get two more out of that, so we will see. Yeah, without the butter is better. Definitely without the butter. Cause look how nice that looks, it looks clean. Yep. Ooh la la.
Do these last two, see if I can get two more out of here. I get two more out of here, I'm gonna add some blueberries. I've totally forgot about adding blueberries to it. Jimmy reminded me that he wanted some blueberries on it. But you can always add blueberries just on your plate. But it is nice to have them cooked in, so let's see. I'll try to put a few blueberries in this. Oops, oops, oops. Not a few, that's a lot, but hey. We'll roll with it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, blueberries, sometimes I'll use fresh blueberries. These ones right here are uh, from Costco. They're dried blueberries, the ones that Jimmy like. They have a little sugar in them, but they're they're good. You can use fresh ones though, which make it even better. Or you actually could just use some uh, frozen ones. Sometimes I just use frozen ones, except for when you use frozen, it's gonna add more liquid, so yeah. But either way, they'll be good, so. They came out really fluffy. They look really good, actually. So I made this plate for Jimmy because I put butter on it and cooked it in butter. So he's going to try it out and let you know what he thinks. Here you go, babe. See what you think. Is it good? I think they came out really good, Rose. This is like, I like them. So. They're not super sweet. Actually, uh, it's really just like like a regular pancake. So I like them, and I do like the ones with the blueberry in it as well. <laughs>